So there are some new possibilities for even deeper space exploration. NASA is now working on a new space outpost, which would be near the far side of the moon. This is what that proposed capsule would look like. If proven, proven successful, it would allow for humans to travel farther into space than ever before. Tom Jones joins me. He's a former NASA astronaut, of course. He's a Fox News contributor, and he's also the author of Skywalking, an astronaut's memoir. Tom, welcome. Always good to have you Hi, with Martha. us. So this is called L2. Uh, it would be sort of a little post on the far side of the moon. Is it feasible that we could build this? And why would we want to? What would it give us? Well, L2 is a nice gravitationally stable point on the far side of the moon. You'd be about 60,000 miles above the moon's surface. And this point in space happens to have a lot of qualities where we could do good science, we could assemble spacecraft to go down to the moon or out farther into the solar system. So astronauts might be able to visit this point, get farther than the moon, uh, farther beyond the moon than we did during Apollo, and maybe trump the Chinese plans to land astronauts on the moon by 2020. So it has a lot of attractions for NASA. So we know there's been a lot of cuts, of course, uh, in the NASA budget. How would this be paid for, and do you think it's actually going to happen? Now that's the rub. Uh, yeah. that NASA has set itself a goal of visiting the asteroids, the nearby asteroids, by 2025 after the president canceled the moon return program a couple of years back. Uh, this appears to be a plan by NASA to try to do something in the next 10 years, even if they don't get the budgets to go to a nearby asteroid or to visit the moon with humans again. So I think it's a, it's a sort of a back pocket plan for NASA to do something in the next 10 years. I don't think on the current budget track that we're headed on, announced yesterday by uh, the president, that uh, we're going to be able to achieve even this. Could we get coordination from private uh, entities, as the president has said he would like to see? Do you think that could help? Well, it will help. Uh, NASA's relying on the uh, commercial companies to provide the boost power, the commercial mm -hmm. launch services that will enable some of this L2 plan to take place. And they would also seek international cooperation from our space station partners to provide some of the pieces of this outpost. Mm -hmm. And then NASA's big new booster rocket and its Orion spacecraft would be the way we would get to this outpost. Yeah, it's pretty cool because uh, the, the L2 area that you talk about is, is referred to as a parking spot, that it's a good sort of stable gravity area where they think they could build something like this. Uh, but there's also talk of from this, and Newt Gingrich got a lot of heat when he said he wanted to build a moon colony, but there are some plans in this that sound like that, basically building it on a regolith, I think it's called, a rock platform on the moon. Maybe you could build it from this piece of equipment? Well, if you get to L2, you're 60,000 miles on the far side of the moon. There's a corresponding point on the near side. These are gateways where you can go outward or you can drop down to the moon's surface. So if you're at these outposts, you can then move down to the lunar surface. If we change our plans and become more ambitious in space, as I hope we will, then you might be, be able to establish uh, a prospecting base on the moon's surface to extract valuable raw materials like water and metals. And the same thing would be true of our science investigations. You could use the orbital outpost at L2 and then a lunar surface base to uncover new secrets about the moon. Yeah, you use the word if uh, quite a bit, and I love that word when you use it because astronauts have been using the word if and they've been achieving it for so long. Uh, so, Tom, it's an exciting proposition. We'll see where it goes. Thanks for being here today. You bet.